Geeks. Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to take a look at Disk Drill, a program originally designed for the Macintosh, now available for Windows, to recover anything you may have deleted on your hard drive and need to get back. More than likely in your case, an MP3, a JPEG, or a document and you need to get it back. It can recover 100 megs, so that works great if you're just looking to get a few things. And let's take a quick look. So you're looking for your local disk, might say Windows 10, should have a Windows icon indicating that's where Windows is. Odds are any files you want to recover are here. There are hidden items. Those are probably exactly that, hidden partitions. The odds that any files are left there are pretty slim, so let's ignore it. For our example, we're going to look for pictures. If you come here to Preferences under the little gear, these will all be checked. And once again, just if you need documents, uncheck everything but documents. That's going to speed up the process because the thing can take quite a while to find everything. Not that that's a bad thing. It's very in-depth. So what we're going to do is we're going to come here. And we can do a quick scan, a deep scan, or run it all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go deep scan. You're wondering what the difference is? I'm not really sure. Uh, if one doesn't work, use the other. Obviously, run all the recovery methods. Sounds like that's the thing you're after. So I'm going to hit pause real quick. This could take a few minutes, even though that's fast, and we'll come back and show you how everything works. All right, we're done scanning, and I'm back. Much like I just did, I suggest when you run this, you walk away, let it do its thing. And as you can see, because this is a fairly clean install, there is very few pictures, quite a few stuff showing up under documents. So I don't see much. There's the thumbs. Uh, a lot of times you can come here and preview it if it's available for preview. You can get the uh, hex preview data. You can also come right down here. You can have bitmaps, JPEGs, PNG. Now you can break this down if you scanned your whole drive and you're looking to get pictures, MP3, a little everything. You can break it down into categories. Now when you get into doing this, your mileage is going to vary. You're not going to know. It's going to be a lot different than this. It's going to expand a lot. So you really want to break it down into what you're looking for because, trust me, this is one of the simplest versions of what you're going to find when you run this program. So it can be a little confusing. Don't be afraid of it. Find what you need. You can search by name, but a lot of times these pictures have file 0000. Almost all programs do this. But take a look here. There it is. You know what that is? That is a screenshot of disk drill that I put on the computer, deleted, and removed from the recycle bin just before I ran this. So it works. So let's take this as an, as an example. Let's say you've got 30 JPEGs here, and you know that your picture you want is a JPEG. My recommendation would be to click this and just recover those. It will warn you it's going to write data to your drive, meaning once I recover this and put it on my drive, I may overwrite something I want to recover later. So you may want to back these up and recover them to another hard drive, an external drive. We don't care. We're clicking yes. We have recovered a couple of files. So the reason I show you this is you're not going to have two files. You're going to have a lot of them. So now you're able to come over here to your documents, as they promise you. There's pictures. There's JPEG. And these are left over from before I didn't finish recovery. So you're but you're going to see something like this. Now you can see, here's the picture it recovered. And as you can see, it's a screenshot that I did of disk drill the last time I was running it. So, and again, these would all be, it's kind of a horrible example in my video, but for the most part, almost, not all, almost all of them, you'd be able to see a thumbnail. And then now you've got your pictures back, move them where you want them. You can delete the garbage and everything's safe. So that should get you through the basics and just replace, obviously, JPEGs and pictures with documents and what type of thing you're looking for because you're really going to want to narrow it down because when you end up looking at tens of thousands of files, you're going to need help finding it. So don't go over the top. Take your time, narrow down what you're looking for, and you will get there. Uh, any more questions, drop a comment. Otherwise, I'll leave a link to download it in the description below. Click that subscribe button. Got to throw in a little bag in there, you know what I mean? And uh, hey, did it under five minutes. Thank you so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. And hopefully we'll see you next time.